what's going on everybody uh, hanging out here in the Jeep and I'm with Kyle and my pal Kim from the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary and today we are on a reptile rescue, wildlife rescue. We got an alligator on the side of the road that may be injured. So we're uh, heading that way now. So I'll see you on the other side and hopefully we'll be able to help this animal out. A good portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Kenny. When you're an animal conservationist, you're always on the job, especially when you're driving with Kim. It's as cool as they get. Now the vultures can eat in peace. <laughs> You gotta love a gal that has no problem dragging a uh, nope, dead right. raccoon with its inner hanging out. But she's <laughs> right, it's a really cool thing to do because okay, this yeah, will save like, any vultures from getting yeah. smashed. Yeah, exactly. Good job. We are always on the lookout when we travel these roads. But finding injured animals after a phone call comes in at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary can be difficult at times, especially if the caller isn't specific enough about the location. That's why it's great to have two extra set of eyes with me. He was near the fence. All right. Uh, we'll have a look. Thanks a lot. All right, well, so the person's no longer with the gator. He says it's only about a mile south of Indian Town Road. He says that it's, he says it's only got one good foot. Um, but we'll see, man. You know, it sounds like the animal's a wild animal. Let's see how it looks. We'll make an assessment, but we first got to find it now, which is not going to be easy on this road. The only information we have to go on is it's a one-legged gator near a wire fence at what we think is the second culvert in the road. See, look on this side of the road. But this is a long road, and there are a number of culverts. There's no guarantee that the animal stayed near the location he was first spotted. Here we go, let's have a look. Let's see. Oh yeah! We have a light. I have a peek. There's something in here. Is there? Yeah. It's like something went down. Yeah, let's see. Well, uh, supposedly there is a one legged alligator. And to be perfectly honest, an alligator can do just fine with one working leg, believe it or not. As long as that tail isn't damaged, that's what really helps them catch their prey. So. Alright, so you want to just roll down to the next one? I got him, he's about, I got him, he's about three and a half foot and he's turning towards us, so he's right through here. We're gonna have to go out in the, in the marsh, but he's, uh, he's right behind all this foliage. Now, we'll get you a better shot, but I got my alligator. So there we go. So let's get around and we'll get him. Get the snare and just see if he's healthy. Got the pole, we're gonna get a little. Uh, There's a, a way to get in down there. Easy. Yeah, we'll go back this way. So what we're gonna do is, let me get eyes on him here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna get wet today, as is my buddy Tom the cameraman. Maybe not, maybe we'll just spare you. But anyhow, he's wearing some nice shoes that are not gonna be nice afterwards. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna just snare him. I wanna see if the animal's all right. My guess is even though he's only got one leg, he's gonna be fine, but we're gonna kinda of get, get a lock on him and see what his deal is. And the reason I'm able to do this, because I work with Bush Wildlife, 
and we have a special permit that we can handle these animals and make sure that they're okay. Um, under that permit, uh, you never want to touch any wild alligators if you don't have the proper permit. So we're wildlife rescue. We got Kim here as well. She's uh, she's definitely, come on Kim, you want to get dirty? Yep. This is your first actual out in the field right. rescue. Come on, let's go. Watch out for that barbed wire. Go ahead, Thank you. Oh, you're safe? Now, trying to get a gator in the middle of the day is almost impossible. Now, I have to figure out where I actually saw him. Where was I? Was I looking? Straight that way, yeah. Straight this way. Well, we're getting wet, so here we go. Yeah, where did he go? He is like, he's got to be like right to your right there, right? Right over here. Oh, here he is. He's tiny. I mean, yeah, and he doesn't look too good. He's think? all beat up. He's right here. He's a little thin. I'm just gonna jump him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's a little guy. I mean, this is a little dude. Um, and he's not looking so hot. Oh, yeah, he's beat up. He's coming with us. Mm. Look at this. Yeah. You walk right up to him? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get him out. Got him. Oh, yeah, this animal's definitely been. Oh, man, this is not good. Oh. He's blind. Oh no, wow. this is horrible. This is really, really horrible. Hit by this a is car? bad. No, I don't think he's hit by a car. This animal, no, something tried. A bigger, a bigger animal definitely got grabbed to Grabbed there and twisted the joints right off. Mm. Yeah, look Just at twisted this. Twisted everything off. Oh my God, and he has no eyes. His eyes have been. Look at that bite right there. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Oh man. You know, usually you want to be able to help something when you get out here and rescue them, but this is just really not good at all, man. This sucks. Mm -hmm. So, about the best thing I can tell you we're going to be able to do is we're actually going to have to bring them back to Bush, and we're going to have to humanely euthanize them. Just to leave him out here in the wild to suffer blind, with only one leg working. You see just how powerful these animals are. He was trying to get away completely blind. Ears have been, ears have been damaged. Eyes are damaged. But it shows you how amazingly tough crocodilians are. But just, man, this animal is not going to last longer. He's going to just die a slow, painful death. So let's get him in the kennel. We'll get back in the jeep, and we'll head back to Bush, and we'll talk with David Hitzig. But I can tell you, it's not going to be a good, uh, a good outcome. Wish I had better news for you. But let's go talk to David anyway. Let's head back to Bush, guys. Sucks. Alright. Make sure my fingers don't get nipped. Alright. Let's go. Hey, Dave, it's not looking good for this gator, man. It was out, it was out on Proud Whitney. I actually found it in the marsh. It was getting hot, so the animal went in, but uh, pretty fresh wounds. Yeah, look at it. I don't know if this is gonna be a happy outcome, but you tell me. His eyes look pretty damaged as well. Yeah, but also if you take a look back where the ear is, I mean- There's no the, flap. I mean, there's, yeah. The flap is gone, the skull. On the top of on the top of a snout, because I was saying, you know, if this animal had both of its eyes and its ear flaps, it might be worth even trying to save it with three limbs amputated because they're pretty resilient. But without the eyes and ears, this animal's as good as dead. Did he give you any fight at all? He gave me a little bit of fight, um, but his tail too. It's pretty his tail's fat. fat. Yeah, Kyle noticed that. Yeah, I mean, it looks. It doesn't look like he's been this way for very, very long. No, no. no. Do uh, you want to pull him out and have a real good look at his eyes? Yeah, why don't we do, why don't we do that? Let's lay, lay that towel on the floor real quick. It's kind of hard to say, but uh, I mean, it looks like something else grabbed a hold of him and really thrashed him around. Yeah. 
and I, and I hate to say this, but it, it could even be an, another alligator that did this. Mm -hmm. Well, that was our guess too. I you mean, know. it could have been a territorial thing. It, I mean, obviously a bigger gator could have also eaten him, but uh, it looks like it was a. Well, a you, know, you a wonder if, if it was a bigger alligator, why he, he didn't eat him. We've seen um, actually other animals that have gone after alligators as well. Um, I mean, even animals like Florida panthers have actually wow. taken and eaten and eaten alligators. Um, you know, this is this is going to be a hard case. Obviously, he's got his tail, so he would still have some some motion. Um, the the front limbs. I mean, I, I've seen I've seen alligators in worse condition. Uh, you know that that have done fairly well. Uh, the the big thing is, I think the eyes are probably permanently damaged, so we don't have any visual on this anymore. Once we get him over to the sanctuary, uh, over to the hospital, and we can we can take a better look at that. We'll have a better idea. But quite honestly, that would be the big determining factor. The second thing is, is finding a permanent home for an animal like this because it's gonna be a special needs animal. So it, it, it's gonna to have to go to a facility that would be able to provide for it. Um, you know, as long as he's able to swim around and get himself, you know, out of the water, you know, and feed himself, I'm sure that he would do okay. Oh, let's, 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 take a look at, let's, take, let's take a look at those eyes. All right, let's do it. All right, Anne, what do you think here? I mean, my initial instinct is just not good. I mean, this poor guy, I mean, starting with his eyes and moving back, I mean, already those don't look to be in good shape. He's got damage to his ears, not to mention there's bone exposed on his feet here. Yeah, right here. Tail injury. I mean, there's just many compounding factors. So we're going to try to loosen some of this scabbing up just to see if we can even see if there's, you know, what kind of damage is done to the eyeballs here. But unfortunately, and it's got to be one of the toughest parts of working at a sanctuary, huh? You know, they just walk in the door, and immediately you just you don't want them to suffer, and that's the worst feeling you can have. You want to have hope the moment they walk in, and yeah, I mean, sometimes that's just not what you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got him. Yep. Hi. I'm sorry, I know that's ouchy. Seems like being pretty good. Yeah, being but really I think it, good, I but think at this point this animal is so oh, stressed. I mean look at this. Yeah, that's just Yeah, there's there I mean There's just that that's just Now is that his eye or is that No, that's his eye. Okay. Which is just I mean, he doesn't have sight in that anymore. Yeah. I mean he's not even his third eyelid, I don't even know if that's even working under there anymore. <sighs> so this is just one of the hard parts about, you know, doing any kind of animal rescue. It's like Amy said, you know, you really want to do as much as you can for these animals, but unfortunately, sometimes the kindest thing that you can do is to just stop their suffering. Because as we know, you know, we have to, we have to look at nature as a, and a, a system and this animal just didn't come up in the best possible way out in nature and if we let nature take its course it would be a lot slower than what we're going to be able to do and ease this animal suffering so not the happiest episode of camp kennan but still we got an animal out of a bad situation so all right folks we're uh we're going to handle this right here thanks for watching as always we'll be back next tuesday and uh with happier stories. See you soon.